Hello, my name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight we're going to continue coloring in mandalas by Sach and Sach Deva. Um, I started the gel pen in here in my last coloring chat, my shuttle art. I love them. I do realize though that they do bleed through this paper. So I do need to put something behind them. Bled through a little bit, not terribly. I can always color over it, so it's not like a huge deal to me. You guys might not even be able to see it, really. But yeah, it did bleed through on here a little bit. You can kind of see the pink up over here. Yeah, but not bad at all. But I am going to put my paper with all my colors on it. And we're going to continue coloring. I would like to finish this today. I don't know if I will try as hard as I can for a while um because I want to I'm ready to start some Halloween pictures I think we can start those soon or maybe fall whatever Halloween fall whatever whatever I'm in the mood for at the time so I'm going to use this green starting out and we'll continue on so as how is everyone doing today Hope you all are well. I've been stuffy for some time, congested, but now I feel like I'm starting to get a cold, which that usually happens this time of year for me, so. Last night I actually slept really good, which I haven't in a while. I have like insomnia. You might call it pregnancy insomnia, you might just call it insomnia. But yeah. So what has everyone been up to? What are you coloring? What is what hobby are you doing? Hope you're doing something you enjoy. And if you have anxiety and depression, any of that, I hope it is something you enjoy. I color to relax my mind. My mind goes 24-7. Sometimes I worry so much that I don't even know what I'm worrying about. And I wake up in the middle of the night with that too. So Before the pregnancy, I did that a lot. Right now, I think I'm just so tired that my body's like... Time to sleep for a while. Sometimes all night, sometimes for a couple hours. So let's see, I'm trying to think of what I did. I'm recording this on a Wednesday. It's actually September 25th. I'm trying to see what I did on Sunday to talk with you guys about. Saturday, I went grocery shopping with my daughter. She wanted a lot of things that we didn't get. <laughs> We've been trying for a while to... I know a lot of kids are picky with vegetables at a young age. Um, trying to put them in her diet more. She has to try them, at least. Um, we had a doctor's appointment for her. She had to get her flu shot and her up-to-date shots for when she starts kindergarten next year. And she didn't cry. She did good. Her vision's really good. I 
but they want us to work on Wes having her have snacks and more. We know other stuff. She does eat a lot of fruit. Vegetables we try every day. Snacks. I probably could have cut down on a little bit. And I don't always buy like junk food snacks. She just likes to eat snacks. One thing I do always buy is chips. That's my weakness. But otherwise, she likes granola bars. She likes dried fruit. She likes string cheese. But she's always looking for something, so I don't know. But my son was the same way. Basically, they told me I could start a lipid panel with her, but I refused because she's a kid and she's active. But anyway, off of that, we don't really need to talk about that, do we? Anyway, so yeah, just working on getting better snacks. And more veggies. And I don't even remember what I did on Sunday. It's such a blur, I feel like. I feel like I did some cleaning, like usual. And... Actually, no, me and my husband, um, we had two five-gallon pails of apples. We cut up a bunch of those and washed those. We're freeze-drying a lot of them for snacks or to put in stuff when we bake. So, yes, that's what we did Sunday night. Monday, the kids didn't have school. It was like a teacher day or something, so that was nice. They got an extra day. So they were excited to be home. Last night was Tuesday. We made tacos for supper. I did buy a cheese dip to go with our chips on the side. And I told you guys I love chips. I'll always have chips. When they're out, I obviously wait till we get groceries. We get groceries every two to three weeks. But when they're out, we're just out. We manage fine. Tomorrow, my son, we have to get him early from school because he has his wellness check. My daughter got hers about a week ago, and now my son has his. And then I go for a doctor's appointment on Friday. An ultrasound and just an appointment afterwards. We're getting close. We have about a month and a half left. And he will be here. Went by actually fast. Kids are really excited. My son asked Mom if you have the baby during the, school, the weekday and I have school, do I get to stay home? I said, no, you still have to go to school. <laughs> I'm so excited. 
Of course, you let them see the baby after school. If the baby's born, then I don't know. We'll see. My daughter gets like show and tell each Friday and the, each Friday it's a certain letter. So this Friday it's a letter T. What type of toy should she bring for the letter T? Well, we have Thomas the Train, so that's what she decided she's going to bring. Um, last Friday it was M, so she brought her Moana doll. And then the Friday before that, it was S. So she has these, like, scarecrow crafts she made that, that I had gotten them at Hobby Lobby. And she wanted to show her class what she did. So I said, sure, S is for scarecrow. So. She's really loving the preschool, which is good. I haven't really watched any new movies. I still want to see Long Legs, but I just haven't. Nighttime, it's either busy or I'm tired and I'm ready for bed. And I did get some cleaning done today. Cleaned our bedroom up. And we have that, like, um, snap together wood flooring in our room. So I just mopped that. And well, I swept and mopped it and dusted like our nightstands. And I gotta wash all the curtains in the house yet. I was gonna do that a few weekends ago, but I never did. So this weekend, I'm like, I gotta wash all these curtains in this house. I don't know. I just like to do that every so often. It makes it so much nice and it helps with like get rid of dust and all that stuff. Even though I clean, you know, you still get dust and you pet. So, let's get back to coloring. Do we, do any of you have this coloring book? I may have asked this already. I don't remember. Have you colored in it? Have you completed it? What do you use to color? These are different, so I might have to, every other one, see how we're going to do that. Last night I turned on, I think it was like, Britain, maybe, Cash Cab? You guys ever watch Cash Cab? I loved that show. And it's on free streaming on Tubi TV. But I don't know if it's like Britain's or what it is, but it's so good. I love it. I love seeing people's answers and if they win while they're in the cab or their face when they get in and it makes that noise. I watch a variety of things, so... I have so many shows probably that I haven't finished watching. Some of them I'm afraid for them to end, so I like hold them off till it gets a little cooler and colder winter, and then I'll watch them. Continuing my read in Stephen King's The Long Walk. I don't think I have that much left, so. 
I haven't really read much in the past week, I feel like. I think I read more in like the colder months than I do when it's nice. Just like to get the kids outside as much as you can. The winter they go out sometimes, but sometimes it's just too cold. My mom used to always make me and my friend when we were young. Gosh, I don't even know. Maybe we were in like third grade. We're still friends to this day. And she remembers and she makes this all the time, she says now. Or even when you're sick, it's good. Well, we'd go sledding. There was a hill by our house that was a few blocks away. It was a big hill. Everybody went sledding there. People still sled there. Um, and you'd come home. You know, they had a little warming house you could go into. You'd come home and you'd be cold and your nose would be running because you were sledding so much and having fun. That my mom would make us some hot lemonade. She'd boil some water, cut up some lemons, and put some sugar in there. Oh, and it was so good. So I've been wanting hot lemonade, which I've been helping for the dryness. And my throat soothes my throat. It doesn't hurt, it just helps. And my nose, it helps flush all that stuff that I'm congested with. Um, so I don't do the sugar. I try not to eat a lot of sugar when I'm pregnant. Eat the fruits, and I know fruits have sugar. But, um, what I do is boil water in my tea kettle. And I cut probably a lemon in half. And I put some honey in my cup, my mug or cup. And then I squeeze that half because I got one of those lemon juicer squeezers that you put it in and then you just put the top down and squeeze. And I squeeze the juice out into my cup with the honey. And when the tea kettle's done, put the hot water in my cup and oh, it's so good. I stir it up and it tastes exactly the same to me, except for I don't put my, the sugar like my mom does or did. telling my dad we went actually yes Sunday we went to visit my dad and I brought him a, a couple different homemade soups some zucchini bread we made and some fruit over and I was telling him that I bought lemons to make hot lemonade because he knows mom used to make that I think he makes it sometimes too but yeah my friend had it when we were kids and she loved it she wasn't sure about it, and then, yeah, so she makes it, too. Have you guys ever done that, made hot lemonade, or is that something we do in the Midwest? I don't know. I gave it to my son once when he was sick and he drank it. He had a really bad cold. It was winter time. This was a few years ago. And I had some lemons and I said, well, let's make some hot lemonade. And I think I made it in the pan then too with the sugar. Is there anything that you always had when you were younger that you make to this day? When you're congested or... There's only certain teas I can have right now. So, 
and add lemons. I'm thinking next week I'm going to decorate for Halloween. I got all my fall stuff out. I haven't put up the Halloween yet, but I think I'm going to next week. I don't know when I'll take it down because I might be having the baby then, but it's actually supposed to be after, sometime after Halloween, but you never know. They Just the way I'm measuring, they're changing a little bit around some things. But they're gonna, I think they're going to let me go as long as I can. I keep telling my husband, um, at my kid's school, they have something called haunted hallways where the older classmen decorate and they act out scenes of stuff for Halloween. And it's open to the whole community. Our whole town um, and they decorate and they pass out candy we've gone every year since my son started school there and my daughter went I think last year was her first time or maybe she's gone the past couple times maybe we did take her when she was really really little but I keep telling him all them stairs I'm gonna climb maybe I'll go into labor then I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's get on to some other colors. Now, I really gotta think of how I wanna do this. Do I wanna color the outside part first? Or do I wanna go on the inside and just kinda go around? I think I'm just going to go on the inside and go around and we're going to wing it and see what it looks like. I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope. Usually when we get into the month of October, we watch a bunch of Halloween movies. The scary ones, me and Dad watch at night. Me and my husband, I call Dad because my kids. We watch late at night when the kids are in bed. And then we'll have to see if they have time before bedtime with school. We usually watch like a kid-friendly Halloween one. Now, my son's age, when I was little, I used to watch scary movies. I had a Halloween party when I was in second or third grade. We're just a couple neighborhood friends. And my mom, we hid it in the basement. Our basement was partially finished. It was perfect. We had TV and stuff down there. We bobbed for apples. My mom, like, would blindfold us and she had, like, spaghetti noodles as, like, what, brains or something. She peeled grapes for, like, eyeballs. I don't remember what else they had. And I think we had pizza for, like, supper. Like a frozen pizza or something. And then, if my friends were able to spend the night, they could. But only one of my friends did. The one that I've been friends with for years. And my parents rented scary movies. And I remember us watching Freddy Krueger. And us screaming. And it was late at night. We were staying up watching all these movies. Now, I don't know. I think stuff was maybe different back then. 
I don't know. But my son, I don't let him watch a lot of that stuff. Soon, probably. But I don't think he's even really interested in, like... He's more into, like, the action. I don't think he's too interested in the scary movie stuff. Now, my daughter, she's in preschool. She wants to watch everything scary. And I'm like, no, not yet. Like, cartoons, that's fine. They're not, like, super bad. But, like, movies, she's into all of that stuff. And I don't know where <laughs> she got that from, but... So we watch movies like Hocus Pocus, which both of my kids love, Monster House, Paranorman, Frank and Weedy, The Nightmare Before Christmas, just some fun movies. We did watch Halloween Town. I know, one, who was I telling that? It was the first time I'd ever seen it, I think it was last year or the year before. And they're like, you've never seen Halloween Town? And I was like, no. I know, it's like a popular movie, I guess, but no, I'd never seen it. I just scratched my arm, yeah, I itched. See it, like, red. So is there anything you do every year to get in the holiday spirit? I know some people don't celebrate, and that's fine, too. I just like two with the kids. When my daughter was really, really little. And I think Halloween might have been on a week weekend. Like, I think it was her first Halloween. We did a little family Halloween party with my son. We even got him a pinata and decorated hanging decorations and we did like I think it was like pin the tail I think it was like a spider web with spiders if I remember right but he had so much fun if Halloween lands on a weekend again sometime I'd like to do that with the kids again the weekday you can't really do that because school well, I can anyway. I have a bedtime for them, so. But I, I still love Halloween no matter what day it lands on. I like to read spooky books. And... The one thing I never do around Christmas, I don't think I ever read, like, Christmas ebooks, which I want to start doing that. I think that would be fun too. Have any of you seen the new Beetlejuice movie? I want to see that. Um, they do have the original like cartoon and the seasons on 2B TV for free. I own, I think, season one and season two on DVD, but I seen they were on Tubi and I played it for my son and daughter, and they actually were into it, so. My son's excited for the movie The Wild Robot to come out. So once that comes out, we'll probably have to see that. And I think in November, Moana 2 comes out. I'm sure my daughter will want to see that. There's a few movies. I know my son wants to see that Transformers 1. He's never seen the Transformer movies. We have all of them. And I was going to play one one night to see if, you know, maybe he'd be into that movie, but... I think he still likes watching the cartoons a lot. He watches some movies. We've seen If, and that was okay. I 
Yeah, he's really excited for... He's been waiting for this for a long time. And I think it comes out in... December, I think? Sonic 3? Because he loves Sonic. And we've seen all of them. So. That's something we usually do on the weekends. If they have a little time with, like, Halloween before bed, we'll play part of a movie or something before they have to go to bed. They go to bed at 7. And pretty much when they get home from school, I start supper. So we can get that done. Now my son showers in the morning and my daughter takes baths at night, so I try to plan everything. Like a schedule. I have to be kind of on a schedule. Are any of you schedulers? I'm not, like, for school I am, but on the weekends I'm not, unless it's Sunday. Fridays and Saturdays, not really, you know. But I am a writer. I like to write to-do lists of what I need to get done. I colored a little bit more out of my animal mosaic color by number book. I haven't done too, too much though. And it's been busy with school, so. I got the baby's bag packed for the hospital. Got a new rug for the baby's room. It's like, um, I don't know if it's really a sage green in a white, but it's like a fluffy rug. It's checkered. I thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna, well, once he's in his crib, which won't be for a while, I want to do woodland creatures for like a theme in his room. The greens, the whites, the like tans. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry guys. Now, now my niece, excuse me, I'm going to get a drink of water before I talk more. Okay, thanks guys. So, my niece, she's actually due tomorrow. She has an appointment, and I think they're going to schedule an induction for her. I guess I don't know why they're doing that, but I'm sure just to get things rolling. They must not want her to go too far over. I just hope everything goes good for her and her baby's healthy. I had an induction with my firstborn because my water partially broke at home and went to the hospital. They said they had to keep me because, you know, that partially broke. But I had no dilation, nothing. And we waited for like hours. And I went in at 5.30 in the morning. At noon, nothing. And they're like, well, they didn't want me to eat. It's like, well, you probably should eat something since nothing's happening still. And probably 3, 4 o'clock. 
in the afternoon, they decided, well, we need to induce you. So and they told me by like, things didn't start moving at all by like 7, 8 p.m. I had to have an emergency C-section. Well, started moving, not much, but I didn't have to have that. Ended up having him the next morning, though. And my daughter. That, I just had her. I had regular contractions with her. So I just went in and I said, oh yeah, you're dilated to, I think I was only a five. But they said they would keep me in it. It happened so quick. I don't even I think I had her within five to seven hours. I think, if I remember. I think it was seven hours later. And I had her during COVID, so that was different. Having to wear a mask and everything when you give birth. <laughs> But I have to say, I do like our hospitals, like um, baby area with the nurses. I really love them all. And the doctors are good. So. They make you feel more comfortable and just relaxing. This color is taking a little bit. So I have the baby's bag packed. I need to pack mine still, which I was going to do today. I think it just spaced me again. <coughs> Sorry. Gosh, that must be annoying with me doing that. Guys listen to music when you color. Sometimes I like to. Me and the kids are both coloring, they're all coloring. I'll turn on some music and my kids love music like me and their dad, so I listen to music sometimes. I might have to go back with that paint because there's some down here. Or is that part of that? Yeah, maybe that too. Okay, well, we'll see. Yeah, these are definitely um, gel pens I personally would repurchase. I just like them. <clears throat> I 
they color smoothly. Probably one of the best smoothness I've had. Go back in here. See how that goes. I remember when I was a kid, well, I shouldn't say, well, I was still young, lived at home. I was probably in ninth grade. I had just had my confirmation party because I went to church and I got confirmed and had a little get together. I want to say it was like a Sunday. It was like after church that we had it, but people were over till later in the evening. And at our fairgrounds, they used to have, because it was in October, they used to have, like, haunted houses. They'd make it, you know, decorate it and have people in there dressed up and chase you and do all the fun things. So me, I don't know what my brother was doing, but he never went with us. And my three older sisters, we all went that night. And we all screamed so much. There was a guy following us with like a fake chainsaw. My sister was screaming and we we're thinking people are touching our hair. It was fun. It was funny. They don't do that anymore. They did it a few years ago and I went with my friends. I wasn't taking my kids because it was just too scary. And my husband's like, yeah, go. So I went a couple of friends and I screamed again so I think their 4-H puts it on now the other company that used to do it doesn't do it anymore I don't know why but so young kids do this I just freaked out because I don't like anything to do with like exorcism movies <laughs> And there was um, one room, some little girl was dressed up like a little girl that was possessed. And it, and she came like charging at you, oh, freaked me out. Even though I know it was fake, it's just like the thrill. And then if you've ever seen the movie, The Strangers, that movie freaks me out. It's based on a true story. I don't know where. I didn't do any research or anything on it. But they say it's based on a true story. Where that guy wears, like, the suit. He has, like, I think a potato sack over his head. The brown sacks. Oh, it just freaked me out. Someone was dressed like that. And as tall as the guy and standing by me. And I was like, oh, nope. I don't think I ever went as young as my kids, so when they're older, if that's still going on, I think that might be something fun to do with them. If they're into that. My daughter probably will be. I don't know about my son. But... Oh, you guys, I just screwed this up. But you know what? It's going to be fine. I'll just do the other one like that. Just talking away, relaxed, and just coloring. So. 
I'll just do the other one like that, so it's not a big deal. See, I colored this part here. Now I was going to have it be a different color, but you know, I'll go back. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Even though it gives me a little anxious, but not bad. I still have a lot of anxiety, probably over stuff that hasn't even happened, but before I think it was a lot worse. Like doing just that would have stressed me out so bad. Still have a little bit, like I said, but it's not like how it used to be, like with the coloring. I used to be that way on like my school homework too when I was in school. Like I would want everything to be perfect. My handwriting, everything. So funny. My um, first job ever that I worked at was at Kmart, believe it or not. And I loved Kmart. That was years ago. Like, yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, we had to like write down our schedules if we wanted to save them. So I'd get the sheet and write down my schedule. My boss would always come by and he'd be like, you have such nice penmanship. I was like, oh, thanks. I don't know. I always took my time in writing too. So, And I still like to write. Probably not as good as it used to be, but my son has really nice handwriting for a third grader. I don't even think I wrote as good as he did. My nephew's, my nephew, he's like 19, my nephew is, and he's like, he writes better than I do. I was like, well, I don't know. They always just told him to make sure it's like, you know, that you can read it. Like a teacher could read his homework to make it look nice, but he does. When I was in fourth grade, I got in trouble in school for writing too small. I don't know, I guess it wasn't, the teacher couldn't read it. So, and she scared me, that teacher, and I was, you know, I didn't talk a lot. I was pretty quiet, but I got in trouble for writing too small. It was on the line paper, but it was just too small for her to read, I guess. 
And it probably was. I don't know. I just wanted everything neat and perfect. There. It's not so bad. I'm going to use like this silvery white color. More silver, I think. The first time I ever got in trouble for school, I got a warning. And I was like, oh, so scared. Um, I was in second grade. And I don't remember if my eraser broke or something and I needed an eraser to erase my work because it wasn't right. So I asked the person next to me quietly if I could borrow an eraser. And the teacher must have thought I was saying something else or talking. I don't know what she thought honestly so she gave me a warning and wrote it on my take home folder. I was so upset. My parents weren't, you know, like, I always told them the truth and they were never like upset about it. Like, I just think borrowing an eraser, I don't know. It was just such a weird punishment. There was another teacher there at the time, and he was there for years to retired. I guess during that time it was still okay. Now I don't think they do that. I don't know if they do that or not anymore. But there was a teacher that I didn't have in second grade, another teacher. They used to slap kids on the hand with rulers if they weren't paying attention. I know my friend. Well, I'm, we weren't friends then, but she would always, oh, so afraid to get hit with a ruler. But no, I was always quiet in school. I was afraid to get in trouble. Until I got like, you know, I was afraid to talk, didn't like being called on. Until I was in high school, and still didn't like being called on, but I talked more. In class, I was just always afraid of getting in trouble. I still loved school. I loved getting homework. I don't know why. Still play with my friends outside, you know, after I got my work done, but I loved doing homework. I think it was just the fact that I could write. Write all this stuff and see all these answers. And I know a lot of my friends are like, what? I was like, yeah, I loved school. Except for when I got older, like high school. But yeah, I loved it through middle school too. I don't think my son likes homework too much, but they get it every night teacher told us they'd have it every night but he does it he knows he has to do it so. doesn't usually complain but he's excited when he's done <laughs>
my daughter likes the stuff she gets to bring home from preschool. I always wonder, you know, how you're, if your kids are going to like some of the things that you did, you know, like when you were younger. Just ordered our son some books to read for school and like a book fair. He likes ordering books. I think he likes getting the new books, but when he's done reading them, I don't think he really wants to read some of them again. Some he will. He likes those Dogman books, which they're making a movie on that. So if you know anybody who likes that, they're coming out with a movie. I don't know the date, but they are. My son was excited to hear that, too. He had to tell me, and I, I knew it was, and I forgot to mention it to him, but he told me. I was like, I heard that. I was so excited. Kind of hard to see the silver on the screen, but I'll hold it up soon for you guys. How's everyone's gardens doing that has a garden? Is it still producing? Ours just started producing like crazy, a ton of peppers, so. Our tomatoes didn't do as good as last year. We got some, but that's okay. We still got plenty of sauce canned up from last year. There's always next year, right? Be thankful you get anything. Anybody get any fall flowers, like mums? My dad put one at the cemetery for my mom. Which I was going to buy one, but you can't have... There's rules, like you can... You used to be able to put stuff by the ground. We have a plant stand, but then we'd be able to put other plants out there. But now, with, you know... I don't know if it's because it's cooler, they just want them in the plant stand, so... My dad has the big one out there. Once Christmas comes, it'll be nice to put a wreath out. All right, I think that's all that I'm going to do today. I'm hoping to do a color and chat real soon again to get this finished so we can start some more coloring with Halloween or autumn, fall. So what are you guys thinking so far? It does take me a while to color these. I do like taking my time when I color. I don't rush. So, yeah. That is 35 Unique Mandala Designs, Mandala's Adult Coloring Book, Sachin Sachdeva. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have this coloring book. What are you coloring? What are your favorite hobbies? What do you like to do for fun in the fall? outside, inside. Give me all the things. If you like this video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful night and happy coloring. Bye.